But the big item everyone's keeping an eye on right now is the vote to change boundary lines. The district says it's to save money, but some parents, school staff, and property owners worry it could have some unintended impacts. So what happens tonight could impact thousands in our area. The meeting got underway about two hours ago, and you can see they are still in public comment right now. So we may not see that vote for a while. 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen is at that meeting right now. And Hannah, lots of people speaking out tonight, and we're hearing from the new superintendent as well. Yeah, Dave, a little more than an hour ago, the district's new interim superintendent, Van Ayers, told us that he supports these redistricting changes 100%. Now, here's a closer look at what is being proposed. They will fully reopen six schools, partially repurpose three schools, expand grade levels at one school, and change boundaries for 103 schools. Now, this plan would impact roughly 15,000 students. The school board estimates by reallocating resources Resources through redistricting, they will save roughly $13 million. But parents and homeowners have expressed concerns in public comment periods that this would negatively impact their child's education and their property values. Also, they say the changes could disproportionately impact minority families. It is biased, and it is biased towards lower socioeconomic individuals. I think it's a problem is because if we don't look at this issue with due diligence, we're going to get what we have right now. And that is we have in our lowest social economic schools, we have a lack of parent participation and we have a lack of achievement. Now these redistricting decisions made tonight, they're not going to impact students this fall, but rather they will be changes for the 2024 2025 school year. We should also mention we are in the public comment period right now, and there's an item on the agenda that's getting a lot of attention. It's whether the school board will declare June as Pride Month. I'm asking that you all remain neutral on this item. By promoting and setting apart one segment of our population, it sets a precedence that other people groups are not as important as the LGBTQ community. The school board is elected in part to lift up not only students, but their families, um, teachers, support staff, school administrators, and the community at large. There are LGBTQ plus people in every one of those groups, and as such, they deserve nothing short, less than to be acknowledged and celebrated by their elected officials. Now, dozens of people have already spoken on that item as well as everything else that's going on tonight. And dozens more are in line to speak. We're going to head back into this meeting. Keep an ear to things and we'll keep you updated throughout the night. Live in Tampa, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. All right, Hannah, we should mention your outgoing superintendent, Addison Davis, is the one who proposed the school boundary plan. But he's out the door in a few weeks. Yeah, so today the board voted to name Van Ayers as the interim superintendent. As we mentioned, he's been with the district for a number of years. Right now, he's the chief of strategic planning and partnership for Hillsborough County Schools. Before moving to district leadership positions, he served as assistant principal at Blake High and principal at Jefferson High. He told us today he supports the boundary changes. So now is a good time to download our free 10 Tampa Bay app. Our crew will be at that meeting all night. We'll send information about what they ultimately decide straight to your phone.